everyone welcome to our classroom let's start today's lesson today is sunday 25th of uh, october 2020 we will be covering unit one lesson five the topic of our unit is our heritage our pride let's check out the top five students for this day the early comer was hasuna the top participant was Jinan. The early finisher was Lulwa Abdul Mahsan. The number one person who gave me the answer for the reading aloud was Amna. And the second one was Azin. Thank you very much, girls. Now, for the class assignment uh, announcement, don't forget we have a new homework that needs to be done by next Saturday maximum. Also, tomorrow, Monday, is the last day to record your reading aloud for the class notebook. Now, girls, let's start with a brain break. Stand up, everyone. Yahoo! Welcome back to another Brain Break, the game where we energize our body to ignite our mind. And today, we're playing the game This or That Halloween Candy Edition. You will have 10 seconds to choose between two options and then 20 seconds to do the matching activities. Great job! On to round three, Starburst or Skittles. <laughs> if you chose Starburst, you have to dance a little jig. And if you chose Skittles, you have to hop on one foot. All right, Kit Kat or Hershey's Kisses. You have to do star jumps. And if you chose Hershey Kisses, you have to skip in place. All right, how about jelly beans or sour candy? <laughs> jelly beans, you have to do elbows to knees. And if you chose sour candy, you have to run in place. <laughs> okay, girls. Good job. Let's play the call me game. Please try to check the hidden word using the codes above. Thank you for participating. The hidden word is... <laughs> Correct. It is clothes. 
Do you know what kind of clothes that people wore before in the past? And also they still wear it in Kuwait? Yes. Al-Bisht, also Thob, Dishdasha. Okay, girls. Now, look at the word and tell me a sentence. This is the memory plane game. The plane will go very quickly. So, you have to catch the word and use it in a sentence. First word. Artistic. Weaving. Factory. Heritage. Okay, let's watch this video about life in Old Kuwait. Okay, girls, so how was life in old Kuwait? Let's write about life in old Kuwait in the past. If you want to write, you need to learn how to write by following the following steps. Step number one, search. Use Google, uh, Chrome, or any search you need to find your information. If you don't have internet, you can always ask. So, ask people around you or search using Google. Step number two is to keep a notebook and write your notes. Write the words that will help you to do your report. Step number three is the burger. Make your own burger. Hmm, you're asking me, what is the relationship between burgers and writing? Let me show you this video. It will help you learn more about amazing writing. Today, we will be learning about paragraph writing using a hamburger and a hamburger organizer. Would you want to eat this burger? This is a bun burger, a topic without supporting details or examples. What about this one? This is a meat burger. It has a clear topic and supporting details, but there are no explanations. So, a topic means the first sentence that show us what is the topic. The details are the information that you found the closing is the last sentence in our paragraph. What about this one? This is the perfect burger. It introduces a clear topic, provides supporting details, and uses explanations to give depth to each detail. So in here, you can see that it has a, uh, a first sentence that shows the topic, then a detail and more explanation, more information about this detail. So every idea you want to write, you have to support it with explanation. And then you will put your closing sentence. Let's check some examples. The bun is the topic sentence. This introduces the idea. For example, fall is my favorite season. After the bun, you have to make sure you have details and explanations. These explain the idea. During fall, the 
the weather begins to cool down and the air is crisp. The cool breeze is a nice change after the hot temperatures. The leaves start to change color and even fall off the trees. I love to walk outside through the crunchy leaves. At the end, we have the closing sentence. This is like the bottom bun. It summarizes your paragraph and holds it all together. I wish every season could be like fall. What kind of burger is this? Fall is my favorite season. Okay, girls, now let's do the writing activity in pupil's book, page 23. But before we do that, let's talk more about Kuwait. So we need some information about Kuwait. Okay, excuse me. Let's try to do it now. Name three heritage places in Kuwait. So we have this place, Souq al Mubarakia, Al Mubarakia Market. Also, the Sedu House and Dixon House. As you can see in here, those are some old things in Kuwait, like Adela, Al Jadr, Mubkhar, and the paraffin lamp. Those are some jobs that the women and men in old Kuwait did. Men went diving for pearls, women used uh, weaving for clothes. Some of the clothes that men and women used to wear, the women wear thobe and the men wear a war bisht. Now, in here we can see a picture of traditional Kuwaiti food. They ate fresh fish and raw vegetables. Some of the games that they liked playing are al dirbaha and al hajla Now open your pupil's book on page 23. I want you to write in here. So we have the jobs, fishermen, pearl divers, thob, bisht for the clothes, and for the games, al dirbaha and al hajla Let's write our paragraph about old Kuwait. See in here, girls, we have the topic life in old Kuwait. Men went diving for pearls. Let's start with a better sentence. That will be the top bun. Um, life in old Kuwait was simple but hard. I wish I can live with them. So, let's check out our story. Life in old Kuwait was simple but hard. Men went diving for pearls. Women used weaving for clothes. They ate simple food like fresh fish. They wore thobe and bisht. They, they played al-hajla. I wish I can live with them. Okay, girls, now let's answer page 12. First, let's check the punctuation marks. Hi, I am a period. I am used at the end of a complete thought. I am a question mark, right? Does anyone have any questions? I am an exclamation mark. I am used for strong feelings. I am excited. Woohoo! I am a comma. I am used to make a pause between thoughts and also to list things. I like cookies, cupcakes, and cucumbers.
Yikes! What is that? I have no idea. I like cookies, cupcakes, and cucumbers. Okay, we've seen now the punctuation marks. I will post this picture in our channel, Hal Kitab al Madrasi, so you can also read and uh, write the correct punctuation marks. When you finish, girls, I want you to post it in the class workbook page in your notebook. Thank you for listening, girls, today. I had so much fun. Good job. Bye-bye.